guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren Kidd. I am a business strategist for the Busy Mompreneur. I teach moms how to start, run, and scale their online business while being present in their kids' lives. What is better? Nothing's better. I like hanging out with my kid. I'm pretty obsessed with him. I'm not gonna lie. He's pretty cool too. So <laughs> guys, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. New content comes out every Monday at 9. I would love to have you showing up, staying around, seeing what's going on. If you guys are returning, thank you. You guys make this channel amazing, so thank you, thank you. So today, we are going to dive in to the three tips to balancing the mompreneur life. Guys, balance is really, really hard when it comes to being a mom as it is but then you add the entrepreneurial world to the mom life and you're like bah, what's happening right I find that a lot of my clients stress out over that finding that balance here's a little secret there's no such thing as balance <laughs> it's a matter of making it work for you but we're gonna talk about ways that you can make it work for you right because balance means something different to everybody what works for me may not work for you Tip-wise, I'm going to give you tips that are just going to make it work, but my schedule might not look like your schedule. My schedule does not look like any of my client's schedules, so you're going to have to figure out what works for you, but we are going to talk about ways that you can make it happen, okay? Tip one, work in pockets of time. I know that you've heard me say this before. I know that you've probably heard this everywhere else too, but it could not be more true. When it comes to managing the mom life and the mompreneur life, you got to spend time with your kids, right? That's why you had them. You didn't have them to stick them in front of a TV or to just hustle them off to a sitter all the time. Every once in a while, it's really great to have a sitter, right? Every once in a while, it's great to have the nanny come, right? <laughs> we need that break. I get that. But that is not what you want to do 90% of the time. You want to actually be able to spend time with your kids, right? So how do you work? You run a business, you're, you're trying to make it, you're trying to take that side hustle into a full-time hustle, you're trying to make that full-time hustle grow so that you can reach that big old income goal that you've got, right? How do you do that? You work in pockets of time. Here, I'm gonna show my, I'm gonna share my day of what my pockets of time look like. So, my kiddo typically gets up around 6.30, 6.30 and seven, so I get up at four. Again, like I said, my schedule does not look like most people's schedule, but I get up between three and four. More towards the four I really have been leaning <laughs> to. <laughs> but pretty much most of this year, 2020, I was up at three. Um, but I've been enjoying that extra hour of sleep. So I typically get up at four and then I can get whatever it is I need to get done, whether it's or email writing or following up with my message box. I know some of you have gotten messages from me at five o'clock in the morning. You're like, holy crap, what happened? <laughs> It's just me. I'm in my work zone. <laughs> I can map out what I'm going to do. I usually try to do creative things between that four and six time frame because, again, I don't ever know if he's going to get up at 6.30 or if he's going to get up at 7. I usually give myself till 6 to get the bulk of my stuff done, and then I'll just kind of like, I don't want to say play around, but like I'll do the things that are more fun in my business. So between 4 and 5 and 5 and 6, I do the creative bulk of my stuff. So whether that's coming up with content for you guys, mapping out what that content looks like, getting my sticky notes together. <laughs> Guys, it's not an amazing system over here. <laughs> and mapping it all out, getting it out onto my content planner, putting it in my Trello boards, sending stuff off to my assistant, whatever that looks like, that's what I'm going to do between those hours. I typically work only Monday through Thursday. I do take client discussions on Fridays, but I don't take calls. I don't take strategy calls. I don't do any content writing. I don't do any um, interviews, nothing. I don't schedule any lives. It is just a me and a kiddo day. Again, perk of being your own boss, you make your own schedule, but I work really hard Monday through Thursday. And that means usually 4 a.m. until 5 p.m. And it's not all day. So what happens when my kid wakes up? When my kid wakes up, it's playtime, it's playtime. And recently we have been going to the park and we've been going running and we've been doing our workouts because he really likes to work out. He's the cutest little four-year-old workouter you'll ever see. And we run up and down the football field and it's a lot of fun. And then we come home and we get some breakfast and so we make some smoothies and we get some fruit bowls going and then we sit down and we do our homework and we usually do our homework until about 10.30. So 
from like 9 till 10 30 or 11 depends on how long it takes us what we've got going on that's his time we do homework time we move into lunch time yes it sounds like he just ate <laughs> but my kid can eat we move into lunch while I've got lunch going while he's somewhat doing some of his independent stuff for work I'll get some of my house stuff done I'll switch the laundry or I'll make the beds I don't make the beds when I get up don't judge um, I'll sweep I'll, I'll take care of things around the house and then when he goes down for his nap after lunch doesn't always nap he's actually just sitting there <laughs> here I'll show you he's actually just sitting there having a conversation actually he's got a book he's got a book and he's reading to his um, bed friends to his stuffed animals he doesn't have to nap every day but he does have to have quiet time and allows me to sit and work and take my client calls I do one-on-one -on -one calls during my nap hours which is usually around 1 30 till 3 30 or 4 um, sometimes they run into 5 I can take strategy calls up till 5 on the days that my husband comes home he'll be home at 3 30 so rush 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 to get it done to get these done um, or I'll batch out content or I will do whatever and these are my pockets of time sometimes they're very short pockets um, this morning for example I had to edit some client content so while he was doing his independent studies I had 20 minutes I had a 20 minute window because he had a, an evaluation skills thing that he had to do um, to get my my editing done and then here I am, I'm sitting and I'm, I'm doing stuff. And then when he gets up, we're done. It's playtime again, it's family time, it's dinner time. Those are what my pockets look like. So while I say I work from 4 a.m. till 5 p.m., I don't consistently work. I probably work about two and a half hours in the early, early morning, and then I work another two to three hours in the afternoon, depending on. I take client situations throughout the day um, via Voxer, but that's about it. And again, only Monday through Thursday. I know, dream job, right? You're welcome. Come come have a strategy call <laughs> with me. The link is below. We can map out how you can do the exact same thing. Okay, so pockets of time are very, very important. If you've got a 30-minute window of time, get something done. If you've got an hour of time, get something done. So how do you make that happen? That's tip two. Work from a list. I cannot stress this. You have heard this as a resounding thing in a lot of my videos. I've gone... Uh, very digital this year so but I know that when I sit down this is what I have to get done some of its personal some of its um, our workout some of its schoolwork um, topics things like that but I work from a list always 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 work from a list I sit down the night before and I map out what it is I have to do or I fix what I have to do or I edit things see what I didn't get done the day before move it around if necessary so that I know that when I sit down in my pocket of time I know exactly what it is that I have to do so today for example I have to do my videos <laughs> and again there's nothing fancy going on at home entrepreneur I sit down in one day I switch out some shirts and I record a bunch of videos for you guys just so you know the next video that you are going to watch you're gonna see me in a pink shirt <laughs> magic magic happening Ooh, it's an illusion no just you sit down and you work and this is on my list this is my list I have I have three videos to record today I have three videos to record tomorrow I've got four videos to record tomorrow or yesterday and then tomorrow and whatever you get the idea but it's it's in my pocket of time that I'm gonna be able to work because he is down he is resting and these only take about 10 15 minutes I know this one's encroaching on the 10 minute mark but we'll see what we can do about that <laughs> <laughs> so they don't take very long but I do sit down and knock it out because I'm working from a list this morning when I was working from a list I knew that I needed to get um, some emails out to my email list and I knew I needed to follow up with my inbox and I had a bunch of people in my email list that I needed to follow up with as well so that's what I batched out this morning which brings me to point number three <laughs> to balancing that mompreneur life is batch your stuff so I know that so many of you want to you want to work want to work every day but you shouldn't have to work every day that's again the philosophy that I follow I work one Monday through Thursday that's it I just, just don't want to do it anymore because I sit down and I batch out my content guys I recorded this video <laughs> in October you're not even gonna see it until November right you're not gonna see it until later on in the month because that's when it's scheduled right it's called batching your content you sit down you plan it all out you write it all out you video record it all out and you get it all done at once so that you can schedule it ahead of time that's the magic of working smarter not harder so three ways to balance it so that you have more time for them and less time for work is that a you're going to work in pockets of time 
B or two, you're gonna work from a list, and three, you're gonna batch your work so that you can get more done in one setting, you can do it with content, you can do it with emails, you can do it with videos, you can do it with all sorts of things. Batch your content in one sitting and then schedule it out. That way you don't have to worry about it, right? It's also going to make you consistent. Yay! Guys, that's it. Oh, look, we hit the 10 minute mark. <laughs> that's it, guys. I can't wait to see you next Monday in my pink shirt at 9 a.m. Again, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, go ahead and do that for me right now. That'd be great. And for those of you returning, I can't wait to see you next Monday at 9. Bye, guys.